Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you seven unusual add-ons for Godot. I won't talk about terrain editing or stuff like that, but more niche add-ons with very specific use case. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with a cool visual one. Shell for Godot by RNK Lit is a fun add-on letting you add fur to your objects in Godot. The implementation seems solid and there are a lot of parameters to customize the look of your fur. You can create your own fur patterns if you wish and it even comes with physics so you can simulate wind or gravity for example. What a cool project. The documentation is very complete and you have a demo project available if you want to check it out. I told you this video was going to be about unusual niche add-ons, so let me show you Godot CCD by The Sheep. Quick note before I continue, this one is a GD native module, so it's not as easy as downloading an add-on, but still, the build steps are pretty simple, so if you need it, you should be able to make it work. This one lets you calculate super fast collisions without using any nodes or Godot's physics server. It's based on libccd and the goal is just to have the math for super fast collision. This might not be for everyone, but in some very specific case it might be useful. There's a small documentation on the GitHub page showing you how to install, how to get started and there's even a little demo. What more can you ask? Do you make tutorials or add-ons or you simply want to showcase a bit of code? Code Snapshot by Phoenix Hub lets you create beautiful images of your code with syntax highlight of course. This add-on will live inside the editor and you'll find a new tab called Code Snapshot just next to the Node tab. Inside there, you'll find a preview of the image and some parameters that you can tweak to change the look of your image. This will show you the code you're currently editing so you can easily go through different scripts and click export. Right now, there's only support for GDescript, but I think it could be extended to support shader code. I'd love to see that. Go grab code snapshot and make beautiful images out of your code. Okay, we have a way of exporting code snapshot and that's cool, right? But what about exporting GIF of your game? Yes, you heard me right, Godot GIF Exporter by Jigor377 lets you do just that. You simply create a new GIF exporter, you add the frames during your process function, and when you're done, you simply write their GIF result. This can be useful for you to record GIF of your game or to integrate directly into your release, giving the player the ability to easily create GIF and share them online. That's free marketing right there. This add-on is a cool way to interact with OBS directly in JavaScript. It's called OBS WebSocket TD by Uwin. You simply install OBS Socket and the add-on in your project, and then you can control OBS directly from Godot. OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, is a neat open source software that lets you record or stream your screens, window or games. It's often used by streamers and having an integration directly in Godot can enable some really cool stuff. One simple example is that you can change your OBS scene based on what you're doing. Writing a script, you change it to a scene where the screen is focused only on the script. Testing the game, the scene changes to focus on the window, etc. If you're a streamer or if you often record stuff, check this add-on out. The sixth entry is again not an add-on, but a GD native module. Don't worry, you don't have to recompile Godot or compile the module yourself. There are binaries available. This module gives you access to the Discord SDK, which can, for example, be used to add rich presents to your game. You know, the box that shows what game you are playing on Discord. You can also make bots and apps. The project has a nice wiki with everything you need to know to set up the project and use the SDK. If you're interested to access the Discord SDK with Godot, this add-on is for you. Are you making a local multiplayer game and you don't have enough controllers? Or you don't even have one yourself? Don't worry, with Godot Gamepad by ACB Program, ACB Games on YouTube, this add-on lets you turn your phone into a wireless gamepad to control your Godot games. This will not replace a gamepad because it's integrated directly into your Godot games. Basically, you have a part for your game and a smartphone app that acts as a gamepad. If you've seen my videos, I actually made something pretty similar, but I was using WebSockets and my stuff was not that customizable. With this add-on, you can choose the layout of your gamepad, for example. There's no gyroscope support for now, but you can check out my video on the subjects to add it. It's pretty simple. 
And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you discovered at least one add-on, and if you have other suggestions for unusual niche add-on, please share them with us in the comments below. You can find all the links in the description. If you want to support me, you can wishlist Dashbong, the local multiplayer game I'm working on. Link in the description. I'll see you soon, and in the meantime, have a great day. Bye!